Hey guys, and welcome to my first video in a series that I'm entitling Project Nostalgia, where I'm basically just going to be going through all the fun and ridiculous stuff that I used to do when I used to play this game, back when I used to just play the game for fun, not worry about skill, stuff like that. So I'm sure a lot of you will be able to relate to a lot of what I put into this video and some future videos, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, in this video, I'm basically just going to be going through some of the ways I used to make money, and I'm well aware, well aware that a lot of these things are very inefficient, but uh, I just, I basically, like I said in my intro video, I play this game for fun, and these were some of the things I used to do um, that I find nostalgic now, so hope you enjoy it. One more thing I wanted to add was that I'm not the greatest commentator, so I'm hoping to get better, so bear with me, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Edgeville Dungeon. This was one of the first places I ever explored as when I first started playing RuneScape. Now, this money making method, I know for a fact I was not the only one who did this. I thought I was a boss when I discovered this. Alright, so you're walking along. Oh, hey, there's an odd looking wall here. Except you couldn't see this back in the day. It wasn't like gated like this. No, it just looked like a wall. So you were like, oh, what's this? So you click this. And you're like, oh my god, there's coin spawns in here. And there's chests that have, like, nothing in them, except back then you could click on these chests, and they'd have, like, leather boots, leather gloves, and coins, and whatever. I don't remember if the, co if the chests used to be there. I think they were, like, sacks or something. But anyway, there's these two, co three? Three coin respawns. Now, I would do this, <laughs> I can't even tell you, for a very, very long time. I would sit here, take these coins, and there were other people here too. I'm not, I'm not even joking. There were other people who did this. These three coin respawns. Now, I think the reasoning behind it was because you just felt like, oh my god, I'm a god at this game. I discovered a secret wall. <laughs> but really, ah, uh, <laughs> it's fun though. It's fun thinking back. But the one thing I remember most is I sat here for maybe five hours one day collecting these coins. And I had maybe, I don't know, 5k or something like that. And I ran out here and the skeleton started attacking me. And I was like, oh my god, do I try to kill it? So I tried to kill it, right? And it killed me. And I was like devastated. And I literally quit playing RuneScape for about three months after that. <sighs> I'm such a loser. So this is another fun thing I used to do that I'm sure a lot of you can relate to. Lesser Demon Top Wizard's Tower. And then you telegrab the drops. <laughs> right now I'm being made fun of by everyone here. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'd always start conversation like that back in the day. It used to be a huge deal if someone got a rude medium helmet back in free to play. Now if you didn't do this back in the day, then you have been deprived and you need to come here right now and start killing hell giants. <laughs> I was very surprised when I went to World 3, I went to World 3 to, to reenact this whole portion. There's a lot of people here. So, uh, I remember always coming down this ladder and there'd always be some hill giant attacking me. And I'd have to run over here. This is where I killed them. Wow, there's so many people here. I didn't know people still did this. I'd always come over here because this is where it'd be most empty. And see, there's always two hill giants here. And then, literally, it would be a hardcore competition. There, there's, there'd usually be between two or three people here, so you'd be competing for the hill giant. It would basically be whoever's computer's faster, or whoever had a uh, higher pit, I guess. But yeah, it was a fun time. <laughs> I'd always feel so accomplished when I got the hill giant before, before the other guy. Ready? Ready? Me and this guy. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, you son of a bitch. Alright. 
But anyways, I remember there'd always be some ranger, some douchebag ranger over here, taking my hill giants, and he'd kill them, and then another one would spawn, and he'd attack that one, and they couldn't attack you there, so it was like, oh, okay, you're a pussy. <laughs> but, but yeah. Uh, this this played a huge part in my RuneScape history. I used to do this for ages. I'd get the law runes. <laughs> Those things used to sell for like 1k each. Let's see how much coin. I got 38 coins. And then I remember there's always like bones over here. Sometimes when I was waiting for them to respawn, I'd come over here and pick up these bones and bury them. <laughs> Good times. Ready. Ready. Go! Here it comes. Yes! This is what I used to do. Run! For some reason I remember there being a lot more giant spiders. You son of a bitch. You... Alright. Alright. I can play this game. I can play this game. Let's go. The Dark Knight's Castle. Yes. I used to do this all the time. It started out with me. Um, I had a peer. And he was a mage peer. And basically I needed runes. And back then there was no grand exchange. So it was either pay money that I didn't have to buy runes. Or come here. Eventually, I started collecting runes on my main, and I started making money with chaos runes. <laughs> so what you did, you take these runes here, you go in here, you take more runes, and that was pretty much it. Um, they changed it up a bit, I think they just made this update actually. But there was a technique to it. What you had to do, since these losers would attack you, you had to get them stuck. So, oops. You'd open this door. Open this door. Uh. Oh, let's see if I remember how to do it. I think they changed it up a little. The beds are like weird. But basically, what you did was. Caught them got them stuck yeah but the thing was this bed was out one more so you could get them stuck right there and when you open the door the door would open to this side so it would get them stuck and they couldn't go past the door and then you could go out and collect your runes and they wouldn't attack you <laughs> or there was another thing I used to do also I would just log out and log back in and they'd stop being aggressive. I would call them my friends. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs>